Hi there, I am Randy Pierce of 2020 Vision Quest, and I just want to give you a quick introduction and a brief message on what I like to call Believe in Possibility. So first off, I want to start by letting you know that I am totally blind, which means my eyes don't work at all. That's part of the reason I wear sunglasses to start, but I want to take them off so you can see my eyes shake back and forth. And, and I do that because the glasses do a couple of things for me, right? They protect my eyes so that I don't have anything accidentally hit me in the eye because while I can blink, I don't blink reflexively. So it's very easy for things to blow into my eye or for me to bump my eyes into things. But the second thing they do is that sometimes people forget an important lesson. That as people, we have so much more in common than different that if we learn to just treat each other like we would treat everyone, it makes it easier. And when people find something different, they don't know what to do and often they're quiet. So I find that if I wear my sunglasses, it helps us learn to communicate first to realize that you talk to a blind person the same way you talk to anyone, by talking. So that said, I'm not ashamed of my blindness and I'm happy to take them off and begin sharing with you. I wasn't always blind. When I was in school, when I was in your grade, I was fully sighted and I never expected I might go blind. It wasn't until I went all the way through college, I came out and had a great job I'd been at for a year, when all of a sudden my life changed, really suddenly. I lost all of the sight in my right eye and half of the sight in my left eye as it closed in like a tunnel. And that happened in just two weeks. And when it happened, I was really, I was frustrated. I was even a little angry about why did this happen to me? But the really sad part was I was, I felt helpless. I felt hopeless because I thought I would never do anything fun or anything meaningful ever again. And I spent a couple of months in the hospital as the doctors tried to help my sight. And when they sent me home, you know, they told me I was now legally blind. And I didn't even know what that meant. I used to think that you were either blind or you were sighted. I didn't realize there was a whole range in between that people could be where you have a little bit of sight, but it's limited. And it turns out that's true about a lot of things. We think things are going to be one way or another, but sometimes there's a whole range in between where we can find the real answers or real possibilities. But they sent me home legally blind and they told me that I would probably lose the rest of my sight, which they were right. That's how 11 years later I became totally blind or sometimes I joke I must be illegally blind now. But the truth is that wasn't as hard for me as when I first went legally blind. And I wanna share why, because I think that's important, not just for me, but for you because that's how we affect everything. What happened is I had to change the way I look at things. When I thought I couldn't do things, when I thought it was impossible, it was really hard and I wasn't getting to do very much. But as soon as I started thinking about, well, not I can't, but how can I? I started finding ways. There's a quote by Henry Ford that I really love. And what he said is, whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're probably right. And what he means by that is, if you don't believe in yourself or if you don't believe in what you're trying to do, it's very hard to succeed. But if you learn to believe, that's the first step to succeeding. And it's not magic, it's not believe and achieve, you're done. Believing is the first step. You then have to start problem solving and you have to persevere, you have to do the work. And that's things I love to talk about. And I'm going to give just one example, but I do all sorts of things in my life. With the help of my cane, I learned how to navigate the world. And then I got a guide dog and I learned how to go on great adventures. You know, I climb mountains all over the world. I run marathons. I've won a national marathon championship. I've done incredible adventures all over from climbing Kilimanjaro or high wires in Peru to doing tough mutters, things that we can dig in a little deeper in other videos. But the things started with simple lessons of believing in myself and problem solving. Like the first day I wanted to do something I think most people do, I hope every day, is my first day of total blindness. I wanted to brush my teeth. And that seems really simple, except I could no longer see how much toothpaste was coming out and whether it was going on my toothbrush or not. And the truth is, it went a lot of places and a lot more toothpaste than I expected came out. And I was really frustrated. But Frustration leads to failure. I say convert it to curiosity. And just as a quick example of how I do that, I was at guide school training for my first guide dog and I asked somebody who was training with me, I said, how do you handle toothpaste? And they said, it's easy. 
It's my toothpaste, so I hold it to my lips, I squeeze it into my mouth where I can feel how much is there. And as soon as I have enough, I stop squeezing. And they said, I then wet my toothbrush and I brush my teeth because it's right where I want to use it so I never spill. And I use that solution today, which I suspect my bathroom sink is cleaner than some of yours. Now, how did I get to that solution? I found someone who already solved the problem, just like your parents and your teachers are probably giving you a foundation of solutions that will help you have a happier and more successful life if you keep your mind open. That's how you start solving problems, but you can grow from there. But where did it all start? It started with believing in possibility. And that's where we start today. I'll have some other videos that will show you how I get to do everything that's important in my life, everything fun and everything meaningful. But it's not gonna be about me, it's gonna be about you and how you can do all those things as well if you learn to believe in yourself, problem solve, and do the work.